Well, let's carry on the discussion of the projections of solids. We'll study the case in which a right pentagonal prism is resting on HP with its axis parallel to both HP and VP. As the axis is parallel to both the planes, it does not intersect either of them. However, the projection onto AVP gives true shape and size of the prism. So, we'll draw the side view first, then top and front views by projecting the lines from side view. First, let's generate a pentagon inclined at 30 degrees with XY. This is how the prism will appear from side view. Now, to construct the front view, project the corner points of the pentagon parallel to XY. The prism is resting on HP with its edge A-P- of length 150 mm coinciding with line XY. Draw vertical lines from points A-P- above XY to intersect the projectors drawn from the side view at Q-T-R-S- and also at B- E- C- and D- This completes the front view of the prism. Observe the hidden line E-T- represented as dotted line. Consider a vertical center line MN between the front and the side view. Extend vertical projectors from A- dash and P- dash below line XY. Project the corner points from side view onto XY. From these intersecting points on XY, draw lines at 45 degrees to meet line MN. These lines are further extended horizontally parallel to XY meeting the projectors drawn from front view. Mark the intersecting points as T, S, P, Q, R and E, D, A, B, C. Here, the line A, B is hidden. This will form the top view of the prism. Take a look at the entire construction of the prism. Let's crack another construction problem. A regular pentagonal prism of size 60 mm and length 120 mm is resting on HP with its axis inclined at 30 degrees to VP and parallel to HP. So, first draw a reference line XY. Now, first let's assume that axis of the prism is perpendicular to VP and draw the front view with one of its sides lying on XY. Next, for the top view, the projectors are drawn from front view below XY. A horizontal line parallel to XY is drawn to intersect the vertical projectors at points P, Q, T, R, S. Then, at a distance of 120 mm, draw a horizontal line that cuts the vertical projectors at A, B, E, C, D. This develops the prism. Here, observe the lines Q, B and R, C are hidden lines. Now, it's time to create 30 degrees inclination. For that, draw an inclined line at 30 degrees to XY. It represents the axis of the prism. Copy transformed prism 
from its top view onto this line. So, what will be the front view in this position? It will be formed by projecting the corner points of the inclined top view vertically above the line XY. Then, the horizontal lines are produced from the corner points of the previous front view to intersect the above vertical lines. Joining these points in a proper sequence gives the required front view. So friends, in this session we learned how to project solids when their axis is positioned in various orientations with HP and BP.